Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy True Thought. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, but I'm coming to the end of my AIT experience here. Um, I've been in Fort Huachuca for around a year and three months. Not because my AIT is a year and three months long, but uh, that's a whole nother story and that's a whole nother video. I'll do that one when I get back to uh, my home. Uh, but since I am leaving, I want to make sure I do a video before I go. Uh, shout out to all my classmates, my platoon, for being successful um, in completing our course. I will graduate tomorrow. Um, and so this video is really just uh, about AIT and how to make it through AIT. Um, so I, I've been here, like I said, for about a year and a half. I've had some difficulties and I've had some successes. Thankfully, I've got the ultimate success right now in graduating. <clears throat> um, but a couple of things to remember. Uh, one of the first things to remember when you first come to AIT is to remember that you came here to get an MOS. So it's going to be a lot of distractions because especially you know, coming from basic where you have you pretty much have all your freedoms taken away from you. Um, you get to AIT and you get a little bit of freedom. Um, and sometimes you can go a little bit crazy with that freedom. Um, and they can take away from your pursuit of, of an MOS. Uh, you can, you know, that's why a lot of soldiers end up making dumb decisions, getting Article 15s, being defazed, um, losing rank sometimes, getting chaptered, um, things of that nature. Uh, for really, most times, it's mostly just dumb stuff, things that could have been avoided uh, with just, you know, better decision making um, and just keeping the big picture in mind. Uh, when you get to AIT, you know, sometimes things things can suck because you know, it doesn't always make sense. Um, <clears throat> you know, the way things are done may not always make sense, but you have to remember that you're only here for temporarily uh, to learn the MOS and then go into a unit. Once you get to a unit, uh, you have different rules than you have in AIT. Uh, so keep that in mind. Remember, you're here to get an MOS. Make sure you're doing everything possible to uh, succeed in that. Uh, with that being said, especially if you have an MOS where now you have a lot of homework, it's very book heavy. Uh, make sure you're dedicating time to studying. Study, study, study. Uh, so that way, when you get to class, if there is something that you don't really understand, you at least have a basis for the questions that you have, or you at least have a basis that your instructors can uh, build on. Um, make sure you're utilizing your instructors. Make sure you're utilizing your battle buddies. There's, some, there's probably going to be some people in your, in your classes that catch on faster than you. Um, if that's the case, make sure you lean on them help to, to help you understand better. And if you happen to be one of those high speeds that catches on every catches on quickly to everything, then be a good battle buddy and help other people out. Uh, so the ultimate goal is that everybody uh, graduates, not just you. Uh, that's part of being in the Army. It's a team effort. Um, it's a team fight. So you want as many people as possible to be successful along with you. Uh, so make sure you're doing that. Uh, don't spend all your money. Uh, especially, you know, you know, again, you're coming out of basic training, so you're going to have money saved up in the bank. You get to AIT, more than likely, you're going to be black phase, so you won't be able to really move and, and go around everywhere. Uh, save your money. You know, I, you know, don't spend it on everything. Don't spend it on a bunch of TVs, game systems, and a car. <laughs> uh, I mean, people buy so much stuff. I, I, I definitely know of people who have come to AIT and the first time they got to go to the PX, they dropped $500, dropped $300, $600. All things that they really didn't need at the time. Because like I said, you're only here temporarily. And once you leave here, you're going, on, you're going on to your unit. You can get those things there. Uh, you'll be busy at your unit, so you probably won't even have time to do all, to, 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 to do all that stuff anyway. Um, save, save your money. Uh, don't go out blowing it on, on ridiculous things that come back to haunt you later. Um, at the same time, have some fun. No, it's not to say don't have fun. Absolutely have fun. Have fun being a soldier. Um, get to know your surroundings. One of the worst things you can do in AIT is not leave your, your barracks and just stay on base. Uh, when you have the opportunity to leave base, go. If you don't have the opportunity to leave base, then explore your base. Get out of, your bar get out of the barracks and just explore your surroundings. Um, enjoy your surroundings as much as possible. Um, and I promise you, it'll make AIT uh, much more bearable. Like I said, there's still there are, there are rules that you know sometimes just don't make sense, uh, especially for if you're older like me, 36 years old, I turn 35 and 36 while in training. Uh, for, so for me, some of the rules are a little are pretty annoying, but they are it is what it is. They are the rules. There's nothing you can do about them. 
Uh, so <clears throat> uh, learn the rules, learn the customs and courtesies, learn the culture of the company that you're with, and then act accordingly. Um, do what you got to do. Keep your head down. Uh, keep your nose clean and uh, drive on. Continue to, to, to get that MOS. Do what you got to do to earn, earn that MOS. Um, one other thing um, you know, that, uh, that you see a lot is, is the situation with battle grooves. Uh, where people are starting to hook and hooking up. Sometimes people get engaged and married. Uh, let me say this. So I don't tell anybody what to do. Um, that's not what I do. However, my advice is this, right? Especially in AIT. If you're in AIT, it's probably not the best time to start settling down, getting married, and things of that nature. Why? A couple of reasons. Number one, uh, you're getting ready to leave AIT and you're going to go into the big army. And who knows where you're going to go. You're going to meet all kinds of people. You're going to meet all different types of soldiers, all different types of citizens from different states and countries. Um, you may not want to limit yourself to uh, somebody that you met for a few weeks in AIT at 18 years old. Maybe you may want to give yourself some, uh, some chances to uh, meet some other people. Give yourself a chance to grow and become who you want to become. Uh, so that way when you do meet the one, you're kind of ready. You know what you want. They know what they want. And you, know, you can kind of build on that. You know, from, from 18 to 21 years old, you're, you're a different person. From 21 to 25, you're a different person. And from 25 to 30, you're a different person. So give yourself a chance to, to grow. Again, I'm not saying don't meet people. I'm just saying you know, 18 and AIT may not be the time to be proposing and, and getting married and making those kinds of plans right now. But again, you can do what you want to do you know, as long as you're happy. Uh, didn't do you. Um, it's really important too to not be a loner, uh, to have a support system, get to know people, to socialize some. Because uh, again, AIT can be very annoying. It can be very frustrating. It can be, uh, it can be very stressful depending on your MOS. And if you have that support system of people around you, uh, it will help you, and you can help other people through it along the way. There are going to be people who are missing their families. Uh, this is their first time away from home. Um, there can be people who have just never been on their own before. Um, so they don't really know how to navigate the world. Uh, so again, be a good battle buddy and you know, help square your, your battles away. Um, or just surround yourself with people who can help square you away. Uh, so that's very important as well. Um, I hope that everyone who's going to AIT has much success in whatever MOS you have. This is going to be a short video because I'm actually packing. We're leaving in a few days. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to say, again, congratulations to everybody in my platoon. Uh, who has successfully completed uh, our course. Uh, it's greatly appreciate greatly appreciate all the people that I've, I've met uh, along the way, all the young people and some of the people who are my age as well. Uh, hope you all have much success in your unit. Um, and for those of you who, again, who are com coming to AIT, I hope you, I wish you much, much success as well. Um, not only in your AIT experience, but also uh, in your experience that you have with your unit, whether you're active army or like myself national guard or reserves um, either way i wish you all success um, so with that being said everyone have a good night and uh, i'll make one more video i'll make another video once we get back home uh, that talks about that goes more in depth with my uh, my AIT experience all right peace